Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this direct X error with the game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can check. If that does not work, rename SCADE folder in this location. Create a backup first because all the saved settings and save game progress will be lost. Now, for this open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder now over here you can see skate folder you can copy this folder create a backup first once you have a backup created over here now you can rename this folder everything will be will start from scratch once you rename it now once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to enable or disable steam overlay now for this we can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and over here if enable steam overlay while in game is off you can turn it on and now you can launch the game and then check now if this is already on and if you're receiving the error in that case you can try to turn it off and then relaunch the game and then check so try both on and off and then check next step is to try these in launch options so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can type in dash d3 d11 now you can close this launch the game and then check if that does not work you can go to properties and then this time you can type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check still not working type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step if you have the game on EA app then click on manage then click on view properties and in the advanced launch option you can type in dash d3 d11 you can save it launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx11 save it launch the game and then check still not working type in dash dx12 save it launch the game and then check still not working remove this save it follow the next step now the next step is to make changes in exploit protection for the game exe file now for this you can type in exploit protection in windows search box and then click on exploit protection over here and then go to program settings now click on add a program to customize over here and then click on choose exact file path and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open and then put a check on override system settings if this is on turn it off so put a check over here turn it off again if in my case these are already off off now control flow guard if this is on turn it off put a check over here if this is on turn it off these are already off now if this is on turn it off turn it off again turn this off now once everything is off over here now hit apply click on yes to allow and now you can relaunch the game and then check now if you face any problem or if you want to go like if you want the default then you can remove this and then it will go to default still not working the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia and over here select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find and then on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver the geforce game read driver whichever is the latest click on view and then click on down and once the download is complete you can run this exe file when you run the exe file click on yes to allow then click on ok click on agree and continue select custom option over here and then click on next then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and after the clean installation restart your computer and then relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings over here and then click on add desktop app so wherever the game is installed if the game installed in uh, if the game is on steam you can open uh, go to the steam location and then find the game 
select the game exe file and then add once the game is added over here you will find the game in the list scroll down find the game once the game is added click on the game and over here select high performance you will see your graphic card over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working uh, desktop users connect the display cable or hdmi cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard so connect the cable to the dedicated graphic card slot if that does not work roll back graphics driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working once you select your graphic card and the operating system on this page you can click on view more version so maybe you can try the previous one 581.15 or maybe you can try 581.08 so whichever uh, driver just roll back try the previous version so click on view and then you can download it and once the download is complete run the exe file but when you go for installation select custom option and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation after the clean installation restart your computer and then check next step is to pc with dual graphic card disable the integrated graphic card so make a right click in the start menu go to device manager now if your computer has a dual graphic card expand display adapter one is intel another is nvidia so you can just make a right click on the dedicate uh, sorry the inbuilt graphic card and then click on disable device and then you can check so you can disable it launch the game and then check if that does not work you can always make a right click and then you can enable the integrated one if you are able to launch the game switch to window mode so you can launch the game go to settings and then you can go to graphics and then switch to window mode lower down graphics settings so if everything is set to high or ultra you can set it to medium and then check next is to install directx file now for this you can open this link in a browser and then click on download over here then run this exe file click on yes to allow and then accept next uncheck install bing bar and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete you will see the finish option hit finish and then restart your computer and then you can check still not working uh, the next step is to install media feature pack so if you're using n version of windows like windows uh, 11 n version in that case you can use uh, you can install media feature pack you can go through this how to install media feature pack you can search in google how to install media feature pack for n version of windows 11 or windows 10 and for windows 10 i think here also you have a, you can select the version whichever version you have you can select it install it you can even go to uh, settings and then you can go to system and over here find optional features click on optional features over here and click on view feature or click on add a feature in windows 10 and then search for media feature pack now in my case uh, i have windows 11 home so i don't have an addition so if you have an addition you might find media feature pack we have put a check on media feature pack install it restart your computer and then you can check still not working uh try debug mode in nvidia control panel so go to desktop make a right click on the desktop now over here uh, you should be able to see nvidia control panel open nvidia control panel now go to manage 3d settings uh no uh, go to the help option at the top left you will see help click on help and then you will see debug mode now now once you have a check on debug mode now relaunch the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in window search box go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to power options over here if you see power saver like this you can select power saver so in my case i have only uh, like uh, i have only balanced in your case if you see power saver like this you can select power saver over here launch the game you can even go for balanced and then check so try both power saver and balanced and check which one is working fine for you next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to repair update or uninstall and reinstall ea anti cheat now for this you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description this will take you to the official ea website here you can see download ea javelin anti cheat installer you can click on that file and then 
let the download complete. Once installed, you can run this exe file. And then click on yes to allow. And now click on this drop down option and then scroll down. At the bottom, you will see install skate. Now you click on repair and then click on OK and select the game folder. So wherever the game is installed, select the game folder and then click on select folder and let the repair complete. Once the repair is complete, now you can launch the game. Once the install is success, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, again select skate over here and then click on update. And once the update is complete, now you can check. Still not working, then uninstall. Make sure skate is selected over here, click on uninstall. Now after you uninstall, now click on install once again. And once it is installed, now relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. In that case, you can uninstall it and then you can launch the game. After you uninstall it, launch the game. Do not install this time. When you launch the game, during the launch, it will reinstall e anti cheat and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to update the BIOS. So go, this is important. So go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. And after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then check. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam or EA games and go to the game installation folder where the game is installed. And then make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties. Sorry. Make a right click on the game exe file, go to properties and go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check, it's still not working, you can put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, it's still not working, you can try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, you can even try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes over here. Hit apply, click on OK, and you can try this, make a right click, and then click on run as administrator, and then try to launch the game. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to now you can use NVIDIA app. So if you have NVIDIA app installed in computer, you can go to NVIDIA app, and then you can go to graphics over here and find the game in the list. So if you find the game, in my case, let, let me go to home. So I don't see the game. But if you see the game over here, try to launch the game from NVIDIA app. Now, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to window, uh, privacy, privacy and security. Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. And then click on add an allowed app, browser apps. And then select the game exe file over here. And then click on open. Again, click on add an allowed app, browser apps. Select the second exe file, this one. And then click on open. Again, add an allowed app, browser apps. Open installer folder. E anti cheat. Select this exe file. Click on open. Now you can launch the game and then check. Uh, let me close the game for now. Now the next step is to repair or verify the game files. Repair verify game files. Now for this, if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrated game files. Once the verification is complete, launch the game. If you have the game on eApp, click on manage and then you will see the repair option. Hit repair. Once the repair is done, now you can check. Now, if that does not work, you can repair the eApp. So to repair the eApp, you can just go to EA website and you can download this EA file. Uh, go to the official EA website, download the app, click on Windows and then you can run this exe file. And when you run the exe file, do not launch. Instead, you click on repair and click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. Once the repair is complete, now you can uh, launch the game and then check. Still not working, install Visual C++ file. For this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Download this x86 file and x64 file. So download this, run this. If you see repair, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install, click on yes to allow. 
download this x64 file as well. Again, run this exe file. If you see repair, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, once both are installed, let the installation complete. Once it is installed, then restart you can build. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to increase the virtual memory. Now for this, you can type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then go to the advanced and click on the first settings. Go to advanced over here, click on change and then you can uncheck the box over here and then select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size over here. Now once you select custom size for initial size, uh, you can just uh, keep initial size that is 1.5 multiplied total RAM. Now you can check how much RAM you have. You can go to system and then you can go to about option. Over here you will see total RAM. In my case it's 16 gigabyte. So you have to calculate as per your system. So and we can always revert this settings to default. So if you face any problem after making these changes, you can always revert to default. I'll show you how to revert to default. So total RAM is 16 in my case. So you can just multiply your total RAM by 10 multiplied 1024. That is total in megabyte 16384 in megabyte multiplied 1.5 for initial size. That is 24576 in my case as per 16 gigabyte RAM. Now for maximum size 3 multiplied total RAM. Total RAM is 16 in my case multiplied 1024 in megabyte multiplied 3 that is 49152 in my case 49153 and then click on set and then click on OK and then OK OK restart your computer and then launch the game. If that does not work type in view advanced system settings once again in search box and then click on view advanced system settings click on first settings over here advanced tab change and this time select system manage size and then click on set set is important click on ok ok apply ok ok you will see a restart option restart the computer and then launch the game still not working we will revert to default so you can type in v advanced system settings go to settings over here and advance uh, sorry advance yes click on change and put a check over here this will go to default then click on ok OK, and then you can restart it computer and then launch the game. Next step is to unplug. If you have external devices like HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it. Disconnect keyboard. So if you have any wired keyboard connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. If you are, you can, like if you have the VPN, you can just uh, try to Use the VPN and then check. You can turn it on and then check. If that does not work, you can turn it off, close VPN and then check. Uh, you can, if you have any other overlay application like Discord or NVIDIA app running, you can close these applications. Do not overclock. If you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like FSI after one revert unit. If you, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working and you can simply uninstall the game. After you uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart the computer and then install the game to C drive. Uh, so if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. And still not working. If you have the game on Steam, then you can install eApp. Try to launch the game from eApp. You can download the game on eApp and then check. If you have the game on eApp, you can uh, install the game from Steam or Epic Games Launcher and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the DirectX error with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.